to a fire. Right. Well, I got. I, I have a wedding. I'm going to a wedding this weekend. So. Okay. Okay. You know, like you know what's crazy is I went to a wedding like maybe a year ago. Um, yeah, I'm in the wedding. Are you in the wedding? Best man? No, I, I, I think I would be if there isn't a best man. I've, I've never been a best man, but I've been a good man. I've only been to two weddings in my life. Okay. What's it? Ring bear at one point. Oh, nice! Like oh, I... I, I think I was for my mom's second marriage. Enough about <laughs> Good back air. Good back air to put, the, put us back on the game. Nice. <laughs> nice back air. Uh, um, and our sin is gone. Yeah, but I mentioned earlier, right? It always seen. Like, you don't know what it's got till it's gone. Yeah. I got our sin <laughs> I did mention how we did see Nuka go into the art because Joker will take double damage, therefore uh, Joker will lose Arsene a lot. Yeah, the, the, what was it you called it? The Arsene Erasing yeah. Mode? Yeah, I, literally that's what I call it, the Arsene Erasing Art, Buster Art, because he does take more damage. Oh, he put, he put, he's making sure he's putting Nitro off the stage. Right before he can react, there is Arson activating here. There is Smash Art. He gets this right. I he's gonna say he could have got a back throw. Classic Smash for Tech. But the reason why I feel like Nico also goes for that positioning there is because he can also go for Nair or he can go for up tilt and then he can look at the setup as a out of the way. Yeah, uh, so far I haven't seen him get much off of that, but uh, I think as it, and his opponents maybe start to mix up a little bit more with his the ledge. It's, it's definitely going to pay dividends for um, Yeah, but the one thing about uh, Buster, though, is that uh, although it's going to delete Tarsen faster, it will also give uh, your opponent Tarsen faster as well. Yeah, so, so we, the one thing that Nico has to do in terms of counter is make sure he's using it mainly when Arsene is activated and then Otherwise, from that switch to speed art, right in the neutral here, which is what he's doing really, really well. Because you don't want to give Ars you don't want to give Joker like Arsene faster. You want to make sure you get rid of him like a lot. Like, this, situation. this time he's going. I feel like he's going for Buster Art just so he can kind of like do this kind of point of damage, bring him to Arsene, and then literally start to slowly read him away. That was great uh, kind of stall there. Yeah, I mean, I think you. Won. <sighs> What just happened there? He clipped him with down air, and then the way it worked is like the, the second hit was already activated. So that knockback sent him off with smash hard to the left side of the team. Wow. Yeah, that just... That was crazy. And now... Nico is in it. I mean, he's about to steal this game away from Nitro. My man is... Oh, I was gonna say, like, if he got away with that one the second time, I would've... <laughs> I would have walked, I would have took my headset off and I'll shoot this man's hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got him in the corner now. But uh, he's going to try to go in to find his way out. Yeah, the side beats. Uh, Jokers love to just aggressively uh, jump up and pull out a side beat. Yeah, it's such yeah. a good option. It, it covers so much space um, and does so much damage. Like that, that is so much damage. That was good. He only went for the first hit because he knew he was going to scoop him up a sentiment and tumble, and then he was going to go back down with that. Oh, my man Nitro, a little too scary there at the ledge, man. I wouldn't have gone for that grab release. It looked like he was trying to switch into shield art right, so he can get that, the heaviness and stop him from going for the ledge. Yeah, there. I'll pump it. Looks like it saved his life. He's still going to die anyway to that fair with Smash. I can change the future. Yep. That was a <laughs> pretty good demonstration. I don't know if he's going to Big House or not, but sometimes Nico just likes to come to tournaments. Uh, he told me he's here with a buddy of his. Actually, Nico's original tag, which if you guys have like followed him in constant tournaments, was originally Dark Paladin 420. If we, if you guys are wondering why that was the tag, we all had an Xbox back in the day. We all played Call of Duty. It was some crazy game out there. We all had crazy tags. Look, my tag was Anti-Hero 13. It was really edgy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was super edgy, man. Everybody had an edge, edge tag. Dark Pound of 420 is an edgy tag, man. I would have thought this guy was going through the emo phase if I saw that on the Xbox screen. 
So he had this tag, and he actually used to play Eagles Origins as a fighting game player. Actually goes as far as back as Marvel vs. Capcom 3. He actually used to play that game competitively. So he came down here to WNF with a buddy of his and entered Marvel vs. Capcom. He's out here entering. A little bit of uh, history. Yeah. I think so many of uh, these players have started like super young. And they have a lot of these players. So it kind of makes sense because some of these goofy names. I know some of there used to be some some interesting names. Yeah. Some <laughs> some that I cannot say on screen. Yeah. Nitro is kind of one of those players that back in Smash 4, his original tag was Orochi Wolf, but he changed it to Nitro. Uh, and his, his, his kind of history here is like, he kind of like, the Inland Empire used to suffer in a problem where like, they just did not travel to too many tournaments, but now they have started to travel a lot, and having a home tournament like WNF and a couple like, they have mid-tier Mondays over the Inland Empire, um, and they have great characters, great players, like, you know, Syro, Loombrang, Razo, Nitro, Spanky, Hockey, uh, just to name it, there's like so many players. They're now starting to travel and pick out big names, going to tournaments like MSM. Sometimes Nitro will go to hat. Yeah, we're, we're really like <laughs> regions within regions here. Oh, yeah. And so, though. The Inland Empire, for those of you guys wondering, it is one of the farthest regions aside from San Diego, right next to those two being the puzzle. It's still considered part of the greater Los Angeles area. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The outskirts. Uh, yeah, outskirts. Two, it's about an hour to two hours away from downtown Los Angeles, uh, and San Diego would be the lower part of SoCal. The part of SoCal, by the way, and how uh, many players like AC, Phoenix, shout out to Phoenix, by the way, um, shout out to AC also, and then Leo, 710, and some of the other players like you want. Oh, that was, that was, gonna hold it. my man was looking to pay the bank off with that boy smashing and the bank told him you are bankrupt. Come back here with another loan some other time. I got through that pretty good. Yeah, last game. Is he just going to 3-0 people tonight? Yikes. Is that the game plan? Yeah, this is looking everybody? like Nico's tournament at this point. He can't even go Richter I'm because he... I'm going to call it early. Yeah. Because he what? Call it time of death. All right, guys. Time of death for Nico. Like, he yeah. can't even go Richter because he also uses Richter, and if he gets hit by Chope one time, it's such I, bad positioning. Oh, yeah. I, Three, two, that seems like a really one, bad matchup, actually. Go. Yeah. Especially if you get off stage. Or just, yeah, I mean. Uh, oh, I don't want to think about it, man. I mean, finally, Nitro's getting things off stun here. Yeah, but. Nico's already piling on the damage again. Good for him to use take aim and then start to move to the platform towards center stage, especially from the ledge, trying to get out of disadvantage. That was really good. I, uh, I'm sorry, go on. I was just going to say, I like how uh, uh, Nico uses these nares to cover the entire platform. Dude, that Ridiculous. nair covers like... If the stage were divided in fifths, it covers two fifths of the stage. Man. Yeah, that's bigger than uh, Joker's counter. Yeah. Have you seen the Joke, hitbox? Joker's, or... Joker's counter cheats, man. That is it's cheat. like <laughs> that is that is like some Game Shark cheat code, man. Your friend found online. It, yeah, it looks like a joke. It looks like it can't be real, but like, it is, man. You don't think it's real until you get hit by it. It's like a small planet. Oh, that was good. Even though even though he got Rebel's card, like he kind of just went off stage with it and then came back with a beat because the positioning and the end lag from Rebel's card was enough yeah. to give him to the time. The punish. Yep. And that's what I tell people like you need to do against Joker. Like you need to punish Rebel's card. But also, Joker is a high skill, high ceiling learning character. Like you will be. It's not easy to pick up Joker. Like MKLeo makes this character look easy. And even even Shulk too as well. Shulk is also a high ceiling, high skill character. You can't just pick up this character too well, it takes time. I I think he got a little easier to play between games, but he definitely still requires a lot of yeah. skill. And mastery. Of yeah. The definitely. There's a lot of tech to be used in Joel. Okay, so yeah, Nitro is and kind of bullet camping a little bit. Yeah. You need to work out for him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he's doing three, oh, that was a good Rebel Star too, he gets Arsene. Our Nico, he might be switching to act. I was gonna say, and I talk about positioning too, he gets out of the corner, but he puts in himself right in front of Nitro, and it's really scary positioning to be. He keeps, look, I'm telling you, man, there are times when you, when you, F, when you up smash, you F smash, and this time he was trying to up smash the ghost of PS2, and Nico was right behind him, man. I think 
Yeah, I can definitely make this simpler or something. He was facing the wrong way, dude. And for, for those of you guys wondering, and this was present in Smash 4, uh, Shulk is able to cancel a head stun into a Monado art. The problem is that back then in Smash 4, he didn't have the Monado wheel. Um, right, you had to press yeah, the E for each time. Yeah, ex to it. It exactly. Like a, that's so archaic, I don't even know what to compare it to. And so in this game, the reason why he has a Monado art wheel is now that if he gets him hit done, he can just switch into shield art if it's active. And that's why you don't see him dying to up air from Nitro. This is going to be, I was going to say, it has to be down throw. That's because, of, like I said earlier, right? You are a floaty. You do take a uh, more knockback in jump art. Something a lot of people can jump on just don't really know about. Okay, yeah, back there with that smash art is definitely going to close it out. Even the game is a lot closer than the last one, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, yeah, I was going to say, I think Knight was just going to opt to pull it in here because uh, it worked for him in the past. But now, Shulk's trying to come Oh, that's it. That's it. Now he's going to make it back. But, uh, I thought oh, this man said him to death. Rush with death there, yeah. Yeah. The man just got like, a touch of death. I mean, uh, Nitro having I mean, a Joker is just like, oh, it's my buddy Arsene. And he's like, wait, no, that's not the Joker. Yeah. yeah. So those of you guys, a lot of people don't, may not know this, Arsene is named after the great character Arsene Lupin. If you guys are not familiar who Arsene Lupin is, with Big Keith. If you guys have ever watched Lupin the Third, we'll talk about anime right now. Yeah, Arsene is named after Arsene Lupin. This is another anime. Uh, Lupin the Third, remember Castle of Cagliostro? No. It's all good, don't worry about it. Arsene Lupin was real. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, he's, so he's a real guy. Oh, yeah, he's a real guy. And uh, Arsene, for Joker, is named proper as well. Uh, Thief Arsene Lupin. And all the other characters, all oh, that's not actual yeah. back. And I talked about how it comes oh, back. And into that. the actual ad, man. That's how bad Nitro did, dude. He got hit so hard, he got hit him into the next <laughs> he, turn. He hit him into the ads, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he hit this man into the ads. <laughs> dude, what a way to go. That... That hurt me in my soul. Um, but yeah, all the Phantom themes in Persona are named after, um, though the Personas are named after like Captain Kidd, the 